There's another, there's a vehicle in the water right here. Kind of looks like a truck. Doesn't look like no Celica. Look at where it's at though. I mean, this empty field. I know, it's a perfect opening there's right there. no way there. it came off. The, I don't think it came off that No, it right. came off right there. Who knows if it's linked to another missing person's case, so. Today we are back near Knoxville, Tennessee, searching for Regina Don Robinson. She went missing back in December of 2019, and we've been searching for her off and on while we've been in Knoxville area. We keep coming back here, but we keep getting new information. And the information that we have now is that she may have gone to the Strawberry Plains area, which is where we are now. It's a very small kind of town, a little bit outside of Knoxville. But there is a few spots, a few boat ramps that we're gonna be checking. We're basically gonna be boat ramp popping back towards Knoxville. Uh, and you know, we've searched a lot all downtown. We have not found any cars that match her description. So what was she uh, driving, a Toyota Celica? Yeah, 2001 red Toyota red. Celica. And we found a bunch of cars in Knoxville. We've even pulled out of several on our Wrecked and Recovered YouTube team channel. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, Don's disappearance is kind of a little perplexing. I mean, there is kind of, I would almost say suspected foul play because according to uh, her story, she was at a friend's house and telling the friend that she was being threatened, right? Like she was being threatened by somebody. We don't know all the details, but that sounds a little suspicious. I mean, we've we've gone over like all those details in like previous videos. My best thing would say, go watch one of our older videos because we covered the details, but essentially like the, the what we got now is she had connections to strawberry plates and there's a river and there's boat ramps. So might as well check them and cross it off the list. Yeah. So we'll make our way back towards downtown because there's a lot of other boat ramps surrounding Knoxville that we haven't checked yet. That's our goal for the next couple days. So hopefully we can find her and bring her home, but let's get out on the boat and start searching. All right, we just got out in the water. There's a bit of a current on this this river, man. Yeah, and the wind's running that way too, so it's, it's gonna be fun. Nice if, sunny day though. If there's a car, it might be interesting to dive on. It might be. It's pretty shallow back there, but it's like nine feet here, so. Yeah, we'll check these areas. Yeah, we'll check that boat ramp. There's a bridge down there. There's, there's not a whole lot, really. I mean, as far as this area. I think we can clear it pretty quick and just keep going down clearing spots. A lot of this is like farmland and stuff, just houses. There's not too many accessible spots where a car could go in. All right, so we're coming up to the boat ramp. There's actually somebody in a boat there over there right now. I don't know what he's doing, but it's causing a lot of smoke so it's with his motors. <laughs> right there to the left. Yeah. I don't know where he's car would be there. Let's check it again once the... Uh, people leave. It'd be weird to be a car right there though. It's like barely just... Well, I mean, you could... I don't know. This is kind of new. I don't know exactly what it looked like before. But I mean, yeah, I think any place like right here, you could get a car. The current doesn't always necessarily mean that it's going to float. Maybe. All right, we're coming up on this bridge. This is a driving bridge, but it really doesn't look like a car could come off based on how it's built. I mean, anything's possible. Those are rocks. Casting the shadows. Yeah. There was something that you thought you saw, right? There's the boat ramp we're coming on to now. Yeah, it looks pretty clear, I would say. Those shadows they saw, I kinda kinda wanna look at those. But it's so rocky. I mean, I, they don't. I mean, they just stood out a little bit more than rocks. Well, yeah, we'll check over it again. And the car is really weird looking. It's Celica. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's. It, there's not any. There's not any things. It's very, you know, just so organic yeah, shape. If it's, if it's just sitting on its wheels, it's not gonna look like a car. Yeah. That's the problem. If, if it's upside down, that'd be great. All right, we're farther up the next bridge. I don't know if we're gonna go past this because it's really shallow around this river at parts. It gets down to like a foot. 
And uh, this is a railroad bridge, so I mean, there's no cars going off this. There's also this old bridge site. That's pretty cool. The column's still there. And there's like a kind of a road over here. It's not by the water though, but I was thinking maybe it'd be a really long shot, but we'll just check this. And I think we're gonna turn around and then go to another boat ramp like 10 minutes away. All right, we just got down to the second boat ramp a little farther towards Knoxville, and uh, we just put in right here. I mean, it's definitely it's a lot like, more accessible area. That's so I got my sonar hooked up here. Jeremy's got his Garmin as always. So we always run both sonars because different brands of sonars sometimes miss things, and then, you know, it's just good to cover all the bases and have different brands. But there's a couple bridges over here. There's one up there, but I think we're gonna go back and scan this boat ramp first. I believe she would have gone over this. So you never know, but we'll check it. We'll keep scanning. It's like nine feet, 10 feet. Got a pretty good picture here. All right, we were scanning back down towards the bridge and I'm pretty sure we just found another, well, I'm hundred percent sure there's another, there's a vehicle in the water right here. Yeah, definitely a vehicle. Kind of looks like a truck. Doesn't look like no Celica because it's got the shape of your average car. Yeah. But it, I mean, it could be anything. There's. Look at where it's at though. I mean, this empty field. I know, it's a perfect opening There's right there. no way there. it came off, I don't think it came off that No, property. it came off right there. Somebody yeah. drove it through. I wanna see what that property is. That's pretty crazy. That's a crazy spot. I think that was it, but my shot's not good. Mm. Wait, it's, it's like 70, so. 70 feet out? No, yeah. Mm. On the map, it says there's a cemetery right there. Armstrong Cemetery. Oh. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it looks like it's mostly an open field, but it's labeled as a cemetery. New cemetery. But then there's like this new construction right by the bridge. It's all kind of hidden, which, but the opening is on this field. I mean, there's a house right there. I wonder if they know about this. I don't or it know. could be really old. I, I'm gonna go with that one. Probably another really old vehicle. Somebody local knew what they were doing dumping it here, though. Yeah. That looks like an old, like, Cadillac or something. Yeah, that's a really good shot right there. That's a car, though. So you can see it right there. That was like a dang Crown Vic. Yeah, yeah. That's two-door, though. Maybe like a Thunderbird. See the window in the back. Yeah. It's pretty good details. Yeah, I'm digging that. You can totally tell it's a car from there. It's not a Celica, let's go with that. So I'm, right off the bat, this isn't our girl, but uh, it's definitely a car. And I mean, I don't know what, are we in between planes? Yeah, in between Knoxville and Strawberry Plains. All right. Well, man, I think we should finish searching this area and then we should dive this and, you know, see if we can figure out what it is, you know? Yeah. That'd be my best guess. And if there's a car right here, who knows what's at the, what's at the boat ramp. Right. But it's cool that you can tell 100% it's not our car that we're looking for. Yeah. If I had to guess, my, my infinite wisdom tells me Thunderbird. Now. We'll dive it, and it'll be freaking Cadillac or something. <laughs> I'll tell you what it's not. It's not a pickup. Yeah. It's definitely not her either. But well, that just goes to show you at first glance, we thought it was a truck, but then after going over it, you know, yeah, then definitely. we could tell it wasn't. So it's always important to go over it a lot. They must have drove it off right there. Yeah. And it's funny, it's still cleared, which is interesting. Yeah. But it had to be old. That's an older car. Definitely. Unless somebody's like had an older car and they just need to junk it, scrap it. All right, going under the bridge right here, you can see all the pillars. I'm like I said, I'm really not gonna be surprised if there's another car on the other side because there's so many spots you can just drive one off. Yeah, pretty surprised there's a car back there. I'm a little bit surprised, but there was an opening, so I mean, yeah. See, 
It goes to show you. Everywhere. Yeah. We gotta check it. Everywhere. The problem is we only have two days. So. Yeah, I think it's clear on this side. Yeah. Which is weird. Is it though? Because, I mean, they went out of their way to put a car right there in when there's a convenient boat ramp right on the other side of the river. Maybe it's the people that live there. It's like, yeah, we just want to get rid of it. All right, I got the magnet. We're about to hook onto this car, and then dive it and check it out. Drop that magnet in the water. Stop. Up. Stop. Right there. It's only like, what, 10 feet? It's 11 right here. Okay, wait for it. Up a little bit. Right there. Yeah. Right on the door. That's pretty slick. A lot of excess. It'll be alright. Throw it out. Get rid of it. Alright, I'm about to dive on this car very quick and uh, I don't think it'll take long because it's only 10 feet and we know it's not the car that we're looking for but who knows if it's linked to another missing persons case so it should be a pretty quick uh, search and then we'll move on to the next boat ramp. I could not for the life of me figure out what kind of car it was. It's definitely an older model because the license plate was uh, covering the gas tank. And I know we've seen that. The last car I remember that we did was like that Monte Carlo we pulled out. I think it was in Kansas. But it's a... Uh, Should have went for the grill. <laughs> it was covered, dude, and the current it's was buried. bad. It was it's worse than you'd think. Yeah, it was buried. We have the plate. It's a, it's a handicap, Tennessee, Knoxville. DW2833. So we're looking this up right now. But um, it was like, blue, I want to say blue, blue or gray. It looked blue underwater, like baby blue. Nothing's covered up anywhere. I didn't see any, you know, the tires were, there was no uh, decals on anything that I could see. I looked on Epic Van, Namus, and Googled it. Nothing's coming up. So probably abandoned or stolen, like usual, but it is a weird spot for it. Yeah. Cops definitely figure something out. Well, sometimes, I mean, usually. They'll figure something out if it's reported stolen or something, but if it's not, I mean, 05, that's, that's probably still too old for their systems, but I think well, we could get it. We could get like it's full four, 400 feet of rope. Man, I mean, we could, but <laughs> that would be, uh, 
I don't know. I don't, eh. It'd be a long pull. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd I'd rather just go on the other side, get permission to go in the field. Well, it's probably his car. <laughs> that's probably like what is. We should drive over there and talk to him. Like, like, hey, man, do you know there's a car right there in your property? That'd be funny. No, we've never done that in a video. <laughs> He'd be like, get out of here. All right, let's go to the next boat ramp. I think there's, I mean, there's a lot more to cover. Oh, okay. God. All right, so we're going to check out some more boat ramps. We just went to this one, and it's way too shallow. Look at that. So there, uh, I'm pretty sure there's no cars in that section. So we're gonna go to another one, not far from here. But the water is so low over here, it's impressive. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're probably at the last boat ramp of the day because the sun is setting, but all these spots have been so shallow. I think this one's just deep enough. Probably still gonna be really low, but we'll see, yeah. Uh... Get in the boat. All right. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty shallow right here. What a shock! I'm sure it's a little deeper in the middle, but we'll see. Most uh, this is the only boat ramp we can actually put in, I think. Go back to Knoxville. There's always a car we missed. Probably. Yep. I don't know, man. I mean, it's definitely shallow out here. A little shallow, all right. But spots like this would have like, you would think tons of cars. I mean, there's roads going all the way around it. People fishing on over there. Well, they probably don't want to mess with it because it's, it's uh, it's, they drain it. Man, this, let me see here. I got I got to do something. Mr. Man. So there's a sunken boat right there, you can see. We didn't know, there's a lot more boat ramps down this way, but we couldn't put the boat in because they were too shallow, but I mean, it's 22 feet right here going through the channel, but I mean, you can see over there, it's completely drained, like two, three, four, five feet. I don't know, it's really low though. It would be crazy if a car was out here. It's a floated out. I mean, there might be by this bridge, then around to the right, there's an old abandoned boat ramp. Mm. I don't know, it's getting shallow on you. Everything was great. Right there, there's a hole. I mean, 10 feet, I'll take it. Oop. All right, we just made it down to the set of bridges. This is a railroad bridge though, and this is a interstate or highway. Unlikely, I think, that they would, that she would have gone this way. But we're kind of at the point now where we've almost hit all the boat ramps around Knoxville. Yeah. Now there is, uh, what is that thing? I don't know, there's something by that pylon that doesn't belong. It doesn't look like a car. It looks like a dock or something. Mm. Might be what it is. I'm going back get a but couple shots of it just to make sure. There is a boat ramp where we pulled out a vehicle before and there's another car there that we hadn't dove on yet. So that's going to be, we're going to be doing that next to confirm. Although we're pretty sure it's really old and not her car. But we have the new uh, side scan, so we can get a clearer picture tomorrow. All right. Now that one is upside down, so I don't know how. I mean, eh, we'll be able to see it. Yeah. We'll dive it. It's pretty cool. You can see I it. want to dive it. You can't dive it. I'm gonna dive it. Clear pillars. That's a lot of good detail. Is that a car? Kind of All right, we made it down to the very end of this cove. We couldn't even make. We just actually kind of got stuck. And we barely got out of it, but I mean, there's logs everywhere. I think that's gonna wrap up today's search. Uh, we've covered a lot more ground, a lot of boat ramps at this point. I don't really know, with the water being so low, it kind of rules out a lot of them. And it also, we just, we need to get some more information on where she was last going, or you know, if there's anything. I don't, I don't know if anybody has any of that, but you know, this also serves as an awareness video to y'all watching. And a lot of times we get tips from people in the community and it helps us out knowing where to go next. So. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be back searching more. There's so many more places, ponds. I think we might do some pond hopping and uh, maybe some more searching in the river. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you on the next one. We found this up near Strawberry Plains, but it, had, it was a Knoxville tag. So we, we want, I don't know if we told you guys about it or tell them about it. Yeah, we got a few other tags. We're going to see if you could just run since you're, if you're here. But yeah, okay.